Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, here today to bring you CC Cycle 1 Week 4 Science Experiment. And this will be from your Van Cleves uh, number 62, which is about pollution. So before we get started, we'll go over our scientific method. So the scientific method is question, research, hypothesis, experiment, analysis, conclusion. So today is one of our is our first experiment. We're going to be talking about pollution. So we have been learning about animals and how um, God created them to adapt to their environment. Last week we did blending and ground temperature. But today we're going to be talking about something a little different, and it's pollution. So I want to read you a definition of pollution, or you can ask the students, you know, what do they think pollution is? Um, but here's the definition. It's the presence or introduction into the environment of a substance or thing that has harmful or poisonous effects. And if you have students who have been in CC for a few years, you can have them think back to cycle two when we learned about um, the six forms of pollution. We had noise, air, water, land, thermal, and radioactive. So there's all different kinds, all different forms of pollution, but it's basically introducing something into the environment that's not supposed to be there and that's harmful to the environment. So our experiment today, number 62, is called pollution. And we're going to look at um, an example of water pollution. So for this experiment, you'll need a big pitcher of water. You'll need a, a large clear container. Um, this is just an apple juice jug, but you'll want something clear. So I wouldn't recommend using like a milk jug. Um, if you can find something bigger than this, this is just what I had um, on hand, but you could use like those big pickle jars or those cheese ball jars that, you know, you can get at the grocery store. Since my um, container has a small opening, I'm going to use a funnel to pour water in and you'll need some, some red food coloring and maybe a spoon and then like a smaller um, cup because that's where we're going to... Um, Put our food coloring and then a towel or some paper towels so this one will be a tutor demonstration so you'll you'll ask the kids um you know what their hypothesis are like if we put um a little bit of food coloring in here um what what does that do um what's that going to do to the water so um the van cleaves says to put two drops of water in um, I tried it with two uh, drops and it, it, you could still see it pretty well in the container. So I tried it with one. You could still see it a little bit, but it disappears a little bit better. So I'm just going to show you with, with one drop of food coloring um, today. But we're going to use red. And I just put like half a cup of water in here. So just put one drop. And if you accidentally add too much, it's an easy spot right now just to pour it out and start over. So we just mix it in with a little bit of water at first. And you can have the kids observe um, what happened to the water. Just that one drop of food coloring affected this small amount of water. So like, what if this was um, a small pond or a bird bath and a little bit of pollution went in there and it, it, it dissipates, it spreads out into all of the water. So it, it looks pretty yucky right now. So what if this pollution were in a larger body of water like a lake or the ocean? So this is going to be our, our bigger container. So we're going to um, put my funnel in here and I'm just going to pour this into my larger container. Okay, I will tilt this down so y'all can see. Okay, so I'm just going to take my pitcher of water and I'm going to start pouring water into the jar. So you can add a little bit and have the, the students observe what's happening. You know, does it look the same as it did um, when you had it in the smaller container? 
So it, it looks a little bit lighter. So let's see what happens when we keep adding water. So it's getting lighter and lighter. And eventually, probably if you had a large enough container, it would probably disappear. So I, I grabbed a piece of paper to kind of show you the color. It looks pretty good. It, you can still see it has kind of a pink tint to it. But um, it's harder to see. But you can ask the students, you know, even though we can't see see it as well, does it mean that it's not there? And so you can say no. Um, you know, the pollution is still definitely there even though it's harder to see and we can't see, you know, it's not as dark, it's still there. So just imagine, you know, that was just one drop of pollution in a small um, amount. So what would happen, you know, if you dumped, you know, a whole can of oil into um, a pond, you know, that that would still be very present um, in the pond and it would cause you know a lot of of harm to to the, the the fish and the plants that that need to be in that environment so just having a discussion with with the students about pollution and why it's important to be good stewards of creation and to put our our waste in in the proper place so this is um, an experiment showing water pollution. So I um, hope you guys have fun with this and we'll see you next time.